Hi, Miles and Martha Laws here from Caldwell Banker. Standing here with Cliff, he's the go-to guy in Suncoast Lakes for HOA violations. You've probably seen him drive around the community. Why don't you tell us about yourself, Cliff? Uh, my name's Cliff. I've been a reti retired firefighter for 35 years. Moved to Florida about 11 years ago. Moved into this community about seven years ago and started a little lawn service and it got bigger and I've been doing trees, mulching, um, screens. Um, basically you ask me if it's outside, a couple things inside I do, um, but I try to do everything. Don't paint and I don't cut grass. <laughs> don't paint, don't cut, you don't do laundry either, right? No, don't okay, do laundry. There you go. Now let me ask you, as far as where you do your work, I know you live in Suncoast Lakes, you do a lot of stuff here. You had mentioned you sometimes go outside Suncoast yeah, Lakes lot, too. Yeah, a lot of the people in Suncoast Lakes moved out and when they move, they get into a new house and they call me in their communities and then I start picking up business from other people in them communities and like I say I've been doing go all the way down to Apollo Beach on some wow. cases um, you know it depends on how big the job right. is and stuff like that but it's okay if somebody lives outside of Suncoast Lakes yeah. they can call yeah. you up yep okay yep. now another thing I heard Let's say there's a snake in the yard. Is that something they could call you for? Yeah, if it's in this community, I, I, I this morning I went and caught a rattlesnake off the front porch of somebody's house. I just don't want the dogs or the kids to go around and grab them. So I got a, a snake catcher and I catch uh -huh. them and then I take them over to the wilderness park and let them go because I don't kill no animals. Okay. Now let me ask you, do you see a lot of poisonous snakes when you work around in the lawns and stuff? Um. I've only seen two in the seven years that I've been doing it as far as when I'm cleaning up. A lot of black snakes don't ever hurt the black snakes. They take care of the poisonous ones. They like, kill the rattlesnakes, yes, right? Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Now let me ask you, as far, far as the palm trees are concerned, I know the community has been here for about 15 years, so some of the trees are pretty tall. How high can you go up to trim a palm tree? <sighs> about 30 feet, I would say. 30, okay. right around there. I got a 28 foot ladder, and um, that's as bad as high as I can go. I put, okay. a, I tied a ladder off, and then I have a ladder belt, and I, I clip into it, so make sure I don't fall. <laughs> okay, great. And then, let's say homeowner here, they get a letter in the mail, they have an HOA violation. Is that something where they could call you up, and you could come out in the next couple days, so they don't get in trouble? Yeah, I mean, I do have a schedule. And I, I, what I do is I tell them I put it on the schedule and let the HOA, um, the company, let them know that uh, that it's being taken care of, and they'll give you like a two weeks extended thing. I okay. say so usually I get there within two weeks, but you know, summertime it gets, I get booked up so fast, and yeah. and I even have a, an older gentleman help me now when I get get too uh, backed up. Okay. So and um, do you do pressure wash as well? Yes, yeah, so a pressure wash. Um, Basically anything outside other than cut grass, like I said, and okay. um, I, I try to take care of our community. Great. Well, we appreciate it. Thank well, you, Cliff. No problem. Thank you. Yep.